Welcome everyone. Tonight we've come to Pool Park to do a paranormal investigation. This is the second time we've been here this year. I'm a I'm bit... probably the last. Yeah, depending on... <laughs> we'll be saying stuff like that, you never know. The last, hey, the last investigation we're going to be doing here. It all depends on the house, the state of the building yeah. and what we get. Yeah, when this... We're coming back. Yeah. This building is pretty much beyond disrepair. Um, last time I was here, it was an absolute mess. I'm seeing from pictures on the internet and things like that, it's just been deteriorating. So tonight we're hopefully hoping to get onto the top floor, you know, second floor, top floor, hoping anyway, because the last time was in, well, the, the time before last time, <laughs> we, had, we had quite a lot of stuff going on in room 13, was it? And uh, yeah, room 17, 17 where the words um, daft C-U-N-T came through. Uh, the spirit box when you was on on the spirit box when you so and from there it pretty much escalated into me being dragged on down the stairs and just horrific stuff really so i'm all hoping all good fun oh, good. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> i'm hoping none that of that's going to happen but i hope we do get some excellent significant evidence come through the spirit box or we've actually got a rem pod as well so i'm hoping we're going to get some stuff on there tonight Okay, so we just got into the place itself and instantly we've noticed it's, it's wrecked. So, I'm just going to have a walk around now, see what areas are viable to actually investigate because we don't want to put our lives at risk. So, are we ready? Oh. <laughs> when you say you're ready, does that mean I'm yeah, ready? That, yeah. <laughs> So, you feel a bit uneasy? Away, stand and look above as well, just in case. Yeah. So, looks like a brick wall here. Are you getting that? What? Just uh, oh, like. I don't want to go through there. Just, you feel like the wall? What, the. the yeah, that's just. Solid. What, like the whole on your chest heaviness? I feel yeah. really quite sick. Hello? Is that the carpet from upstairs? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that way to the Even top of the stairs and turn left, you can't go anymore. Floors. Jesus. Gone. We it's said though, didn't we? It's dropping and this all, all this goes straight through. We said though, because we could never yeah, access the rooms above that. Is it? No, actually. It only covers that central bit, doesn't it, really? Please let me just remind you that we are here with love and light and we don't mean any disrespect whatsoever. Hello? You know, should we just check out the ledger? Yeah. Yeah, it is, it's a suspended floor. Is that What was that? Did you hear that? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I heard something go. Yeah, no, no, I heard that. Hello? Don't mean you any harm. Is 
We are here with respect. And I demand. If you're out, I feel it. the same. Yeah, right. mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got bricks on my chest, man. If you can hear my voice, I am telling you, I demand you to treat us with respect, as we will treat you with respect. We will not accept any negativity. We would like you to communicate with us. I can help sit now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, Christ. Oh, Oh, you alright? Keep going, keep going. Oh, don't feel right. I ask you to take a negative energies away from us and only communicate with yeah. us with love and respect, as I've said since the moment I've walked in this building. If you guys were here now, <laughs> there's something I can say it's like just weights on your chest just a whole shortness of breath and anxiety I'm, 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 I've chilled out now but I'm actually if picking up on the whole the whole feelings of it I don't know it's, it's changed and I think it's changed just for the sheer fact of the damage that's been done and the energies and all the residual energy that's actually embedded on the wall is now crumbled up and is elsewhere. You all right? Something that's sharp pain to your chest, man. Over the shoulders, then it's weird. In my heart. Yeah. Yeah. It's changed, isn't it? There's something changed. Yeah, it's, it's got the kind of atmosphere. I missed that because I was talking. Sorry, yeah. Can you do that again? I want you to communicate with us by sound. If you're here with us now, can you make a sound? How's everyone feeling now? I don't feel too bad. No, it's eased up a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. I feel a bit. I feel sick. Yeah, that's the word I look for, yeah. <laughs> and it might be down to the state of the place as well. Mm. Yeah, because that's... Because we know that other people have been back in here yeah. taking shit. It's concerning me that how much worse it actually is. Mm. I didn't expect it to be mm. that much different. I mean, it was bad. But the thing is, it's open to all weathers now, and it? They've yeah. fucking, they've taken God knows what. Mm. That's made it more open to the elements, yeah. which is deteriorating, Deter yeah. deteriorating it faster. Yeah. <laughs> so, I definitely think upstairs is an idea. I think we should uh, just go to the top. If you want oh, to have a look. Yeah, I don't mind having a look. If you, yeah. if you want to have a look, go for it. Yeah. So yeah, tonight um, we're going to have to take real precaution of where we're going and what we're doing. Because at the end of the day, if we need to exit quickly... There's not exiting quickly. There is no exiting quickly, mm. so... So yeah, this is... Uh, it's really dangerous. ...the real business right now. Yeah, the energy, the atmosphere has changed completely now. Yeah, and obviously if anybody was to think about coming to any places like this, we advise not to damage things because... Well, this is the result. At, yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, you may end up injuring yourself. Um, or others that follow you. Yeah, mm. especially in buildings like this. And if, you, if you're not taking care and you're not aware of your surroundings, then 
you know, somebody within your group could get seriously hurt in places like this, and it's not it's not something to be laughed at or joked mm. with. Well, primarily on, on that note, though, Sam, we we never done, do we? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one will never run. So I made it run from the falls. <laughs> yeah. So I know. <laughs> This, this is the result of, obviously over the years, I think it closed in 1989 this, and obviously people have been coming in over the years, and this is the result of people breaking in, damaging things, breaking through the windows, breaking through wherever, water's getting exposed, it's coming through the building, it's rotting and thin away, and it's just making it, as you see now, absolutely a wreck. This building is now beyond, beyond repair. You ain't bringing this back. This is scrap heap. And it's such a shame because this is very, very old. Well, the first time we came here, yeah. it's a magnificent, bu ma magnificent building. This room where we're stood in now, and I'll actually put on the video, this room, what you see right now, in the middle. It's a big oak table, big, isn't it? Yeah, big massive oak That's table nice. here. This is all carpeted. I'll put a picture up on it now. Mate, the first time we came, the stairs all carpeted. Still, the main stairs yeah, were still carpeted. Yeah, and obviously the, the main stairs were carpeted, but there's been thieves stealing all the wood. I, I never imagined it was going to be this bad. Um, and we last came here in March. I can't believe it, so it's been just short of six months. And in that six months... Mm. <laughs> really looking, look at the fact that they've smashed the floor up to look at the fact that they've worked. Yeah. All the way along the way. Yeah, look at the mould going through on that ceiling there, and on the side of the window. Yeah. We need to be extremely careful as well because it's raining now, isn't it? so it's even adding more weight to the, yeah. the looseness. That's what I mean. So, and we've had some horrific weather as well recently, so it's really not... Um, those cracks have got considerably worse. Wow. Yeah. Jesus, it was on the day, a bit on, on drip last time, and now that's just flowing through. That is a lot more bowed than yeah. it was. That that floor is going that way. Can't believe this. So yeah, if you plan on coming to Full Park Mental Asylum, do by all means, but risking your life at the same time. Been in some dangerous places, some dangerous buildings. Oh, Mate, what was that? that was just not no, no, I didn't. That was down there. That was down here. Was it? That was yeah. a stone being thrown or something. No, I think it was a piece of wood. Do it. it sounds like it was down. No, no, it was down there. I heard it was down there. Yeah. Okay, calm down. <laughs> you sure it wasn't that that fell off the step? No, it was. It was down there. It was in front Wait. of Andy. Wait. No, it was no. Not. It's so sound. It's. Sounded like past door, something falling. I actually thought it was here it. next to us. See, so let's just um, get down off from on, on this uh, roof, just in case. do now we're gonna do start the investigation in the main main hall we've got the REM pod just by the door there we've actually got a microphone in the other room as well for EVPs okay we're gonna do something different um, we're gonna do some well Sam's gonna do some crystal work see what answers we got of it defining things so do you want to just like explain what the crystal work is. Okay, um, so crystals, believe it or not, are alive. Um, they have energy. We are made of energy. And my energy will blend with the energy of this crystal. And I can obtain answers, yes or no answers, from this crystal. Um, I'll demonstrate this to get the yes and no answers. So 
we know which way is yes and which way is no. So I'll ask it a question that I know is a yes answer. Is my name Sam? So yes, my name is Sam. So that determines that the forward and backward motion is yes. Okay, we'll ask it a question that is not the truth. Am I 36? And it's spinning clockwise to give me my no answer because I'm actually 32. So we'll try it again with different question. Is Andy stood on my left? So again, it's giving me the no answer. So we'll ask it another yes question, just to make sure. Is Carl holding the camera? So that's the yes answer. So we've determined that forward and backwards is yes, and clockwise is no. Is there a spirit that wants to communicate in this room? Is it a male spirit in this room? No. Have we actually had any females come through before now? We haven't had women. I think. So, I think maybe on spirit box. No. I, not what I can remember now. No, I couldn't. Apart from that, remember when me and you heard that? Yeah. Ooh, outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you recognise us? Yes. See. Do you know one of us? So what could actually be happening is, anybody that's passed over, because we are asking for spirit to come forward, we can bring any spirit forward. So it could potentially be somebody that we, one of us knows that has passed over, that has actually come with us tonight. Um, so yeah, that's a difficult one. Do you know Andy? Do you know Carl? No. Stop. Do you know me? Are you related to me? Stop. This is going on, I think it's going to think it's a protection thing. Possibly. Does your name begin with S? Mm -hmm. Have you
have you been with us since we arrived? Tell me, are there any other spirits with us? Stop. Stop. Can you tell me if they want to communicate? So are you here to protect me? Well, thank you. Can you tell me, are we safe? Mm, don't call me. Like a proper chill there. Are you able to protect us? No. Basically, we're just doing some. What was it? Divine work? Was it yeah, divine. D divine, divining work. Is and crystal? Basically, um, do you want to explain? Um, it's starting getting a bit on a personal level. On so. a personal level, there's um, somebody very, very close to me that's passed away, and um, I trust that person implicitly, and they would never lie to me. So. I would put my whole trust in what I've just asked is is the truth. I asked, was it a male? No. Was it a female? No. And then something made me ask, do you know some one of us here? So I asked, do you know Andy? The answer was no. Do you know Carl? The answer was no. Do you know me? The answer was yes. So to, to, to determine who that was, I asked initial. Um, and so I'm pretty certain who this person is. And I asked them, did you come with us here? And she said yes. And I also asked, um, are, are you protecting me? And she said yes. I said, are we safe in this building? She said no. I said, are we safe, not safe because of the building? She said no, which obviously is something else that is within the building that we're not safe from. I asked her, can she protect us? She said no. So, I'm a, obviously a little bit uneasy about that because of what has happened here before, Carl being dragged down the stairs. I am horrifically cold. It's not cold out there, is it? Yeah, it's and, I, and I feel, um, I just feel like, I don't actually feel on edge. Mm. Right, okay, if there's any spirits in here now with us, would like to come forward and please contact us via the phone number given. No, I'm all joking. <laughs> we'd like you to come forward. We don't mean you any harm. And we'd like that in return if you are going to co communicate with us, please. I know deep down that you know and recognise us. Whether you're the person or whoever it was who pulled me down the stairs. We've got a device on the floor. We'd like you to come walk towards us, please. And touch the device on the floor.
We'd like to come forward to our circle. Can you say something to us? Can you make a loud sound? Or can you even touch one of us? Just so you know, I'm not comfortable turning the light off. You're not? Yeah. <laughs> you did breathe out then, didn't you, Andy? Yeah. Right, okay. We've come tonight to communicate with you. We've come especially to speak with you. There's nothing to be afraid of if you are afraid of us and what we're doing here. We've come to learn about you. We'd like you to come forward now, please. Come down the stairs. Come and join us in the main for the main ventures. What the hell? What? What? Jesus Christ. What, in the corner there? On the floor here. Where? Oh, here. Oh my Lord, yeah. Where about us? What, what? That, that. What? I can't believe we both just missed it, hold on. Where am I looking, in the corner? Right, that, that, that. That flash there? Yeah. Can that, you... that. Yeah. What, where? That arc. Here. That, that. Oh my lord. Arc around what? Can you not see the arc here? Hang on. Can you do it again for me please? Show me that light on the floor. Go on, show me the light on the floor please. Come on, we're all looking now. That's why. Yeah. There. Yeah, there. yeah. Oh yeah, what is Thank that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't think the camera can see it, it's gone really cold. I don't feel that bad, man. No, I'm just, just keep that, it off. No, I'm sorry, that was a cross here then, without just, thinking. Just keep it off. I can't. Just keep it, Sam, just keep the torch off. I can't. Keep the torch off. I can't. Seriously, just keep the torch off. I can't. Can you go stand near the blue lights on the floor there? Right, I'm going to try it without the night vision on to see if it picks up better. It's wonderful. I'm really grateful for you showing me. Could you do it again? Could you show me that real bright curvy light you've just shown me? Just one more time. There, 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 there. There, there. The there. I've just seen it then. Wow. Put this up properly. Sit down. You right? Go away. Step out of my energy, please. Back off. So who are you then? Who are you? That was all I was saying then. Please tell us who you are. Please tell us who you are. Huh? 
So where are you then? Where are you? Right, so I'm going to try Spirit Box now to see what we we'll get through. Um, as you can see, someone's being affected. See, her energy's been drained, or someone's stepping into it, or whatever it is. I don't know. There's something odd about this place, and I just can't put, put, put my finger on what it is. This is not going down, but it's just the case, and I'm trying to get it out now and making it itself known to us. Right, is there any spirits with us now? I'm joking, it's trying to get into the car, I'm not actually joking. Is that you? Please, please, please go away from me. Why are you doing this to Sam? Is that a scream then? Do you want to go towards the window? Go. Let's go towards the window. No, I think we should go. Sam, just chill out. That's cr that, that crying came through there then. Yeah, I think we need to go. The crying came yeah. through. Sam, just stay still. John's all done. We need to go. So who are you then? So where are you then? And why are you doing this? Did you get the ramp off, mate? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. No, I had a really odd sensation. Like as if I was stuck, fixated. Couldn't, couldn't move? Yeah. It's just like frozen. F I'm turning the shit back on a minute. What I know what the f is. I'm gonna turn this back on now. Can you tell me who you are? Hello. Go. Go. I don't know what... What? I 
can't f***ing think. Why? Hello? Hello? What are you Stop. doing? Sam, what the f***? God, mate. Get the f***ing car open now. Now! Some shit. Focus, 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 focus. focus. Oh, let's just get back to the car, let's get the f out of here, man. Focus. Just got to get the f out of here. Oh, we're going to have to f***ing call this to an end. This is f***. This is dodgy, this f***ing place, I don't know what it is. It's f***ed. Right. Focus. This building is f this smoke bar is f building and it's not right. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I feel like someone's f I feel like someone's f following us, man. I'm joking, yeah. Stay here now. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Find the strength inside you, Sam. Let's get the f in the car quick. Let's get the f in quick. Please. Just get in. Come here, circle Come on. Just get, just get in. Just do it around Carl. me. Join your hands together, please. <laughs> Please, I'm asking now. Get it off Whoever you want. Me Time now. To Time to leave. Go there. Go back. Go back. Oh. Go back. Oh. Sam, you're safe with us. Just try to calm down. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. It's okay. Just chill. You're with us. You're grounded. Remember that rope. Just chill. Remember that rope and the light. <laughs> Wherever you are, what are you doing? You stay here now. You stay here now. You don't come with us. You swear you belong. This is your home. I'm grateful for the time you've spent with us, but it's time to stay. Go home now. It's time to go home. Thank you. Oh, f***. Right? Come on, f***ing your chest pain now. It's crying. Oh, no, wait a minute. I need to f***ing sit down or something, man. Sit down. Oh, no. F***ing go for me. Oh. We need to f***ing go. Just get in we the car. We need to get away. Get we need to get the Hell. Yes, hell. Just get the hell. Hell. I got it. 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 Anything you, like that, and I never, ever, ever, ever want to f***ing experience that ever. We are never, ever coming back here, ever. No, I'm totally with that. I've never seen you like that before. That freaked me out. 
Did, did you remember passing out outside after we came out? I don't even remember coming out of the f***ing building. You That's what I was f***ing like when I got whipped down the stairs. That's exactly what I was f***ing like. Exactly what I was like. I remember the light on the floor. Oh, sat God. down. It's a bit chest pain. Get to the end of the road and we'll get out. In there, man. He's in there. He's Did you feel like you were actually stuck to the spot, Carl? Yeah, I'm stuck. Because twice. I kept saying to you, Carl, we need to go. We need to go. And you were just blanking me. No, yeah, no, I did it twice. I was at the window as well, and I just, I couldn't think. I was trying to say something. I was just like, I don't know. Is she alright? Just drain, drain as hell. Is she conscious? Yeah, you're right, Sam. The eyes open. Oh, yeah. Just try deep breaths. Deep breaths. It's too hot as well. Sam. 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 Stay with us, okay? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> oh. Right, we've got to drive on because we've got to go somewhere well because someone will bring the police or something, you know what I mean? Sam, we can't leave it like this. Sam. Let's get in the car. Let's get. In, we let's need to go. Let's get in the car. Drive. We need to circle. Yeah, we need to. We need to fucking like. Sam. 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 Circle. Yeah. Sam. Sam. Come on, do a circle. Sam. Sam. Hold hands. Hold hands. Okay. That's it. Stay with us. Keep grounded. Keep grounded, Sam. Just keep grounded, Sam. Remember that light. The rope. Yeah? Remember that rope. Open the door. Need to, need to feel. See that then? Like a maniac of life. The last time I've seen something similar to this was when we was at Whittingham in the basement, and that was like horrific in there. Do you want to come to see? Have you got, have you got Olivia's number? It's a bit late to be waking her up at this time. I'm not being really funny, but. Yeah, but I'm 
just if you need help. Do you know of anyone else? Do you know of anyone else? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to leave? We need yeah. to leave, don't we? Yeah. Right, we're gonna go back to Andy's now and try to sort this out because this is f***ed up. This is not fun of this now. It's gone f***ed my heart, band. Big time. Okay, so we decided to have a bit of a recap of what happened two weeks ago, the events that happened at Pool Park, and share our thoughts and opinions and feelings of what actually happened. It's been very good, actually. Um, very interesting as well, talking to one another um, and listening to things that had happened to each of us personally that we didn't know about until we've done this. Um, um, yeah, it's been really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut that last bit off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna laugh at that. Yeah. When we first arrived, we did a load of grounding and protection, um, and there was a few things going on in my own personal life which I don't know, they just seemed to ebb away, and I felt really relaxed about the whole evening. When we entered the building, it felt much the same as any other time we've been there. Um, there was nothing that seemed out of the ordinary. There was, it was a bit more, um, how do I put it? It was a lot more dangerous. Was, was a lot more structural damage since the last, well, it was about six months, I think, since we've been there previously. Um, but apart from that, yeah, we had a quick scoop round downstairs. Ventured upstairs briefly, but didn't go much further than the stairway. stairway. Uh, because of the state of the place uh, and that's when we decided just to focus our attentions downstairs in the main hall route, hallway. The first thing we did when we got there was Sam did some spirit work with the pendulum um, which she's never done before. Um, um, I've seen it done before um, but not with Sam um, and there was, well Sam did a couple of um, control questions and answers to find out the yes and no's uh, and then she did she worked from there um, and there was a lot of well it's very personal stuff to Sam which got her quite upset um, and then after that we moved on to other stuff the light anomalies on the floor were unbelievable I've never seen anything like it we had the grid laser which Sam was holding um, and there was the EMF reader was on the floor in the doorway and the light anomalies were like, they were like arcs of light, like ripples, but they weren't going out like ripples. There were, there was one here, then one would be over here, then it would be back there. And then right towards the end, they focused on the EMF reader and they just seemed to pulse around the EMF reader as if it was teasing it. Um, what happened to Sam? Um, God, I've never seen, I witnessed or seen anything like that before and it was bizarre. I mean, I was trying to keep her focused and what have you. Um, the look in her eyes when she, I did get her to look at me, it, it just didn't seem like Sam. Um, um, sometimes her voice seemed different as well. Um, I've never, apart from the time when obviously Carl was pulled down the stairs, I've never seen or heard anyone so terrified. Uh, and I felt really helpless as much as I was trying to help her. Um, and then there was numerous things that happened through the night. Um, the most bizarre was when Sam literally wanted to go. Um, Carl was just focused, he seemed to be out of touch with everything that was going on, was focused totally on the camera work. Um, and I literally had to shout, shout to Carl three times, get your effing stuff, we're, we're, we're leaving. Carl, yeah. Whoa, mate. Shit, Carl. And all this time I sat, I got Sam's arm linked because I didn't want her running off in the building. She was that terrified. Um, when we got outside, I managed to get Sam through the window and over the, 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 the wall that was between us and the main road, the, well, the entrance road. Um, 
Carl remained in the building, um, so I stayed in between the wall and the window, just in case I had to dive in and grab Carl. Uh, in the meantime, Sam was just hyperventilating, um, crying hysterically, and then all of a sudden she went quiet. So I turned around to see if she was all right, um, and within, I don't know, seconds, she just seemed to pass out. I dived over the wall, managed to scoop her up before she hit the deck and just said to Carl, come on, we're going, we need to get the car open. As I was running down the path with her in my arms, she came to again and the look in her eyes was sheer terror. Um, and then we got back to the car, uh, she freaked out again. So we did some, just formed a circle around and tried to keep her grounded, remember the spirit light and all. Um, she had another episode on the way back down towards Ruthin, and then when we got to the garage, um, she needed to get out because she felt ill. She got out of the car, was pacing up and down hysterically, ripped off her coat and just sat cross-legged uh, as if she was about to meditate on the gap on the forecourt floor. Um, I went and sat with her, just kept talking to her and then out of nowhere, I mean, I, I was talking to her saying, remember the rope that keeps you grounded, white spirit lights, um, keep you focused, blah, blah, blah. And out of nowhere, she just looked directly at me and they went her eyes and she was just like <laughs> laughing maniacally, maniac, I can't even say it. <laughs> 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 laughing maniac, maniac, oh, laughing like a maniac, laughing like a maniac at me. You're going to have to cut that bit. <laughs> I'll put it in the bloopers. <laughs> we came back home. Uh, we re-watched the footage back at my house. And I've never told Sam this, but as we were leaving, Carl gone through to the kitchen first. Sam was in front of me. And as we were leaving, she spun round on her heels and said, did you just tap me on the shoulder? which I hadn't, but I'd have never told Sam this, I felt something rush past me as well. Mm. It sat me on my shoulder when I was still here. Were you aware of that? When we were leaving, um, Andy was behind me and I thought he'd tap me on my shoulder because it was a full on tap. Yeah, yeah. I, she, I'd never, she spun around on her heels and she was like, you tap me on the shoulder? I was like, no, I hadn't. I didn't want to tell her that I'd felt something rush past me. Yeah. The entire night, I, I'd rate it as one of the weirdest, bizarrest experiences I've ever had. It was like living through a real life horror movie. Uh, that's all I can describe it as. It was, it was terrifying. And then when we came home and watched, rewatched the footage back, completely unedited, there was parts of the footage that there was stuff coming through that we'd not heard. Uh, it sent chills down my arms with uh, goosebumps and it, it was weird, it was horrible. Um, would I ever return to Pool Park? Yeah, I think I would. I think I would. It's, I don't know, the state of the place, it's, it's a very dangerous building, but there's just, I don't know, I just feel that there's something unanswered. There's something going off there and I'd, I'd love to know what it was as scared as I was. <laughs> when we first entered the building, I could feel instantly oppressiveness. Something didn't feel right, as, as to say. Um, felt quite sick, which I don't actually usually feel sick in that place. But obviously I noticed Andy and Sam obviously was feeling pretty much on the same say wavelength as I was, which didn't obviously ring any nice bells, as to say, as to speak. By Sam using the pendulum when we got there, I thought it's a good idea because we obviously spoke previous to, you know, using it and we should use it more in investigations because not really delved into that, that side of things before. And I thought obviously it was a good idea to use. Um, and, you know, it, it did seem to work and we got some interesting finds from it. The change in Sam's behaviour was pretty drastic from being alright to then something completely different. It's 
beyond me to be fair. And obviously when myself, Andy and Sam started to watch watch the footage back and you can see the the whole face start changing on camera, which is really unusual. I've never seen anything like that before. To see the as you've seen the face go pale and you've seen the eyes and then all of a sudden the, the camera's going back to normal again. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty drastic. <laughs> When Andy was shouting at me to get out of the building, when we was all, when he was telling us to all, all get out of the building, I couldn't really focus. And you know, because usually it's like, oh, you no, know, we need to get out of it. Okay, I'll, I'll pick my stuff up and we'll go. I didn't know. I was in and out. It's, it's how do I, how, how do I say it? I felt distant. It wasn't wasn't so, reality as such. I felt fixated in that spot, and obviously I needed I needed more information and carry on for what I was doing at the time. From when we start, actually started to get our things and get out of there, when it comes to the last room, everyone left, Sam and Andy left the building and I was stood in that position looking at the door and I was, had the spirit box in my hand and I'm trying to ask questions and I couldn't think of what to say and I felt you know, confused about the whole what's going on right now and not so much that Sam's obviously <laughs> what what was happening to have been taken out the equation and what you no know, and Andy as well and it's just me now in this room and I'm I'm thinking well what more answers I need you know I'm I'm beginning to lose lose my mind at this point like I need to know now you know like that's how I felt this is I, I wanted to run off and I don't know what I was gonna gonna do but I felt like I I was just going in with anger and like, well, if you're going to do something, you need to do it now. And like, I, I was literally <laughs> flipping my lid and I needed more answers for the spirit box. So obviously previous times where we have been there and we've been pulled down the stairs and, you know, things like that. There's something about the building that, there's something lies there that I need to dig out further and need to know. But it's quite scary, the fact that it seems that... <clears throat> We was being segregated, and it only seemed to be that Andy, from my, you know, perspective, that Andy was the person who was in charge and had control the whole situation. Like you and Andy's outside, that's all going on, and I'm like sat there, think, you know, trying to get answers, <laughs> do what I'm, what I'm doing, and to the point where I heard Andy, get in outside now. Hello. Hello. I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. And then I'm saying, I actually turn around with the camera now. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? So I'm, I'm climbing up, climb up the, the, the window and I jump over the, the thing and pick up a bag and uh, Andy and Sam are now running off and I'm thinking, oh, okay, this is, this is all going off this. What's actually happening? And then, I, then I'm running and I feel like there's something literally on my shoulder. And as you've heard, you can hear the, a voice come through. It sounds like it's saying this way or no, that that's right or something. So af after after the whole feeling like there's something following us, by this point we get to the car and we needed to do a circle and, and sh shut the whole si situation down and make sure that there's nothing coming with us because you don't know, obviously. When you're messing about with that, that the whole paranormal thing used to say that something from whatever realm or whatever it may be follows follows, follows home and things like that. So it seems to uh, instead of the situation dying down, it <laughs> it seems to escalated. I started with severe chest pain. I think Sam was, I don't know. You, it Sam seems to seems to be getting worse at this point, up and down literally. Um, so we started doing a circle. I, I thought, I'm not turning the camera off, this needs to be filmed because if anything happens, who's to say that, you know, me and Andy didn't murder Sam or Sam, you know, anything could happen. So that's our proof as well, just to safeguard ourselves and obviously for the whole documenting aspects of things. So I left the, for, left, keep the camera rolling, I left the camera on the seat. So we're now, now trying to shut this down and, and move on and get, get out of the area big time. So it's going worse. I'm starting with chest pain now. I literally feel like I'm going to die at this point. So I'm like, let's just go. Let's just go. We need to go now. So we get in the car. Some 
sits in the passenger passenger seat. By this point, I, Andy's got the camera and, and and he's filming now as we're trying to get out there. And as we, as we're driving away from um, the, the area, you, you'd think everything's going to chill out now. Everything's going to be chilled out. So five minutes down the road, it's just it's just going worse and worse and worse. So we pull up at a petrol station just to have like the whole you know, five minutes or ten minutes of just trying to chill out and come to terms, obviously, what's just happened. But that didn't seem to be the case. It seems to be going worse. Sam starts throwing up at this point. So I've got Andy coming up to me saying, well, what should we do? And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Well, what the should we do? You know what I mean? So I, I, I thought to bring, bring an ambulance or something like, right, we need to get, get to the hospital or something like that. But you're thinking, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Not having an heart attack. There's nothing going on here. So how would you explain to you know, the, the emergency services that, oh, my girlfriend's like possessed, oh yeah, what, what should I do, or, you know what I mean, you're going to get sectioned like that, you know what I mean, so, uh, the only thing I could think of was actually going through Sam's phone and contacting somebody we know who, who, who deals with that, and obviously it was like, what, nearly one, one two in the morning, I'm, so, I'm sure she'd be uh, very, very appreciative, what's the word I'm looking for now? I'm sure she's appreciative about the phone call, like ridiculous o'clock in the morning saying some possessed or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, it was, it was ten, 10 minutes in the garage that happened, gets back in the car and we're on, a, on our way to Andy's house and it seemed to be cooling down at this point. Sam, Sam's now like that physically drained, that she's obviously like in and out of consciousness now and just falling asleep or whatever. Um, and that was it. We, we got half an hour late. We got to Andy's and and we all chilled out and come trying trying to come to terms. Obviously, what what's just happened? And it was just it, my head was mashed. And a couple of hours later, we left Andy's and I'm dri we're driving home and I'm just like physically drained. Like and for the next three days or so, I said to Sam, I'm literally. You know, haggard. Feel feel like I've been on a bender for for two weeks. You know what I mean? That's that's how that's how I felt. I was just drained, absolutely drained. So and obviously the the last time thing things, the whole drain feeling has happened on severe events and where we have actually been drained. But this this was just some next level stuff. What I, what I'd say about the night is, it was messed up. I've got no other words to describe how messed up it was. I was pretty sure that I won't be going back there again, but it still doesn't answer my questions. Like, I need to know more. There's something, like Andy said, there's something malevolent and there's something hidden within those walls there that we need to dig into and start getting this information out because it's just, it, it doesn't stop there. It really doesn't just stop there, so. Would I return to Pool Park? <sighs> and an investigation would I return to Pool Park? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Would I be shitting it? Yes. Probably would be shitting it myself, so. But yeah, no, I would return to Pool Park. Well. So yeah, we'll come up for the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, on arrival at Pool Park, I felt how I usually feel. I'm a bit apprehensive because of what's happened there before previously, um, with Carl being pulled down the stairs and whatnot. So with the last visit that we had to Pool Park with Carl being pulled down the stairs, um, I decided to make sure that all of us um, did some grounding and protection. So before going anywhere near the building, um, I made us do a circle. And I focused on leading Carl and Andy through um, a guided meditation as such for protection and grounding, which we don't normally do. Um, I will normally do my own, but the boys don't tend to get involved in it. So I felt more comfortable knowing that I'd done something to ground and protect them um, because of what the building is and has within it. 
Um, as we approached the building, um, we saw the way in um, through a window which had uh, previously been opened and um, something just instantly weighed upon me and I thought, uh, there's something not right here. Um, the feeling intensified as we stepped through into the room um, that we first went into and it was almost as if something had just hit you on your chest. Um, it was very oppressive, just very, very uncomfortable immediately. Um, and I was wary about walking towards the, the door onto the entrance hallway. Normally on an investigation, we don't um, use a pendulum, but this time um, I decided to use one. So before we did any spirit box work, I used the pendulum which obviously I had to open for that, um, for Spirit to work with me, to work with the pendulum. Um, some of the answers that I got initially were very upsetting because they were very personal to me, um, which I believe led me into being in a very weak emotional state. Um, yeah, so I felt very upset after I'd used the pendulum. Um, just after using the pendulum, um, I started to feel um, that there was a heavy energy present and I started to feel unwell. Um, so at that point, I sit down um, and think, well, I'll get out the laser grid and I'll use the laser grid whilst I'm sat down. Um, during that point, I noticed um, in the corner of the room was um, a light appearing. Um, which I tried to determine, was it Carl, was it my torch, because I wouldn't turn my torch off. Um, and I was trying to distinguish what, what this light actually was, and I asked Andy, could you see this light um, on the floor? And I asked it to move, and it did. Um, and it started to go across the room in different ways, from different positions. Um, and we were all mesmerized by this light. Um, it was a brilliant white light that just kept us focused and almost in a daze. So after seeing the light anomalies on the floor, I began to feel extremely unwell. Um, my breathing had changed, um, my body was shaking uncontrollably. Um, I started to feel very, very fearful and I could feel this overwhelming energy being forced upon my body and I've felt spirit before, I've worked with spirit before and this energy was overpowering to the point of I was truly frightened um, because I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, the next point that I remember after that because I have a time lapse where I can't remember what went on apart from seeing the footage when we watched it back was um, we were outside the building um, and I like like I'd had a shock and Andy had hold of me literally had me cradled off the floor and I didn't know why what was going on um, I was screaming hysterically um, I felt like something was um, on me, um, like literally like it had a grip of my back on top of my shoulder and um, down at the bottom of my back. Felt like something had its, had its claws on me, um, which was extremely frightening. I couldn't understand how I'd got outside the building because the last thing that I was aware of, we were in the building and I was looking at the lights on the floor. Um, I've never ever experienced or felt what I felt that night and I wouldn't want to feel it again. Um, but saying that now that I'm more aware of what can happen, it does open the door to more questions as always. Mm. Uh, would I ever go back to Pool Park? Mm. Stupidly yes. Um, because. If we would have, well obviously I was unaware of what was happening um, because 
Andy's never seen me behave in such a way like that. Um, Carl was away with the fairies. Um, it would have been nice to find out what it was. And if it was a case of it was trying to overtake my body so it could speak through it, then it would have been good to find out what it was, who it was, why it was there and why it chose to be able to do that to me that night. So, yes, I'd go back, um, whether or not the building would be viable to do so or not, is another question. So, in the very beginning, um, what I felt about the situation was maybe it was something from a different realm that was trying to take my body over because it wanted to live um, and wanted to get out of that building. So, that was very frightening. After talking to um, a couple of people that I do know that are within the field of paranormal um, and afterlife and things like that, they um, I got different aspects um, and perspectives that led me to not be so concerned um, as it could have been um, an energy, um, a human energy that was just so powerful and because um, I've never experienced trans mediumship before, which is where a spirit will um, Im impress itself on you rather than blending with your energy. It will fully impress itself. So um, what I believe can then happen is you're either conscious with the spirit and you know that that's happening or the spirit, you completely leave your body and the spirit enters but you are still in control because I've never, because I wasn't aware of that, um, my body was trying to fight that energy. So I don't know whether it would have been trans mediumship or not. Um, I've also spoken to somebody that said it could possibly sound like it, it was something dark that was trying to attach and maybe move away from the building. Um, so yeah there are a few different options um what it could have been um i definitely don't think i got um possessed um because afterwards uh, on a daily basis i felt better and better um i think i would be um the first one to be aware if i had some sort of possession going on um and certainly the people that know me um and that are in my daily life would pick up on that as well um, so, yeah. Okay, so that's the end of our little gathering and recap. It's been quite interesting. There's things that I didn't know, and I'm sure you guys didn't know some of uh, you know our our feelings and opinions and things like that. It's been a very interesting uh, bit of recap, obviously, of what's gone down. Some quite spine chilling moments thinking about it now and looking back, it's like, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I take it we'll be going back then. Yeah, at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I no. think as long as the building is viable, I, well, would, yeah. I would go back. Never put your personal no. safety on the line, is it? So, no. <laughs> I've made you saying that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so yeah if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like comment obviously what your thoughts and opinions or maybe what you thought actually happened to Sam and possibly what he was actually doing to Rose whether he's trying to segregate us or not or whatever whatever you, your take is on it leave us a comment and please subscribe we'd love to have you on board and we'll see you guys in the next video